hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create a basic login page so in this page it has basic functionalities i put in my username which i've already uh, fed in the database as nachi and the password is 123 so if i put any password other than that say 1234 it says invalid password right because the correct password was 123 so if i put a different username as well which was not my original username and try to log in it tells me that invalid user so finally when i am putting the correct username and the correct password and click on login it directs me to the home page and says welcome and whatever the name of the username was so i'll show you the code for this so i'll show you the code for this so this how it looks like so let me start with the html pages this is the login page that opens up right so this is a basic html page right we have the background color as orange and we declare a form using the form tag right and basically action is equal to form underscore login what this does is it sends all the data that you enter into your form to this url right and it sends it as a post request so then we create a text field for the username and give the input type and then the password if you don't want the password to be visible as you typing it just in the input tag right type is equal to password i didn't do that for now but you can do that as well and last we have the submit button which has the value login right so whenever you click on the submit button it sends all the form data to whichever url that you have mentioned at the top in the form tag and after closing the form tag i just write double brackets info which is basically a placeholder so based on whatever input and <coughs> so based on whatever password and username i have entered the corresponding message will be displayed in place of info right so when you write double brackets it means it's a placeholder and this is the home page which simply has the background color and we have written in h1 font welcome and the name of the person again this is a placeholder because whatever data you've entered in the form as the username should be entered over here right so let me show you the python code for this so again as i showed in the last tutorial we start off by importing the flask class and two other function called request and render template and we create an instance of the flask and store it in the variable app now app dot route is the default url and inside this we have to define a function which is going to be executed as soon as you open this url right so as soon as we open the web page the first web page that should be displayed is the login page right so under this definition we write return render underscore template login dot html now basically this means that we are returning a template which is called login dot html now it's very important that this login html page is stored inside the templates folder inside your project right it should not be simply anywhere lying around it should be inside the template folder so when we write render underscore template it will search for this web page under your templates folder right now after this i have created a database of usernames and passwords which can be extracted from any database right i am creating a sample database for now it has three usernames and three passwords right So now what I want to do is I want to create a function to check if the username and password which is entered is valid or not. So as I wrote in my login page, the form data is going to a URL called form underscore login. So I have to define a function that tells my app what should happen when that URL is entered. That's why so that's why I write app dot route slash form underscore login and methods equals to post comma get, which basically means that I can receive the form data. in either a post or a get request right so i define the function below called login so basically whatever data you have entered in the form is going to be sent to this url in form of a request right in the request we are extracting the form data and inside the form data we are extracting the username right in the login page we've defined that the input of username should be sent with the name of username right So in this line we are extracting the username from the form in the request and saving that in a variable called name one 
and similarly I'm extracting the password as well which was entered in the form and store that in a different variable so first of all I check if the name is valid or not so I write if name one is not in database which is the dictionary that I've created above then I return the same login page but instead of the placeholder that I created I will now write invalid user so in the placeholder info it will be showing invalid user right so if the name is valid then it goes into the else condition <coughs> so now I check if the password which is entered is valid or not so I check the password corresponding to the name in the database right this basically a way of checking the value corresponding to a key in a dictionary this is a dictionary right so I check if the password which I got from the form is same as the password which is entered in the database if it is not same then I'll again it on the same login page and in the info it will print invalid password else I return the home page using render underscore template and home.html and instead of the name I'll display the name which was entered in the form right so finally I put if name is equal to main app.run which basically runs the app so you simply press on run and uh, it should create so it creates a local server and when I open this I get this page I enter my username and uh, the correct password and I click on login so you can add an option for signing up as well it's very simple whenever you click the sign up button it should simply add a name onto the database and a corresponding password and then redirect to the main page so I leave that for you if you have any doubts I'll clear that in the comments and I'll be bringing out more tutorials on Flask so do subscribe and yeah thank you for watching